here is a little bit of a technical slide. It tells you how um, feature selection is usually, uh, what, what's the algorithm, the typical algorithm for feature selection. It's an algorithm called MDA, mean decrease accuracy. What it does is that for a particular feature, MDA will randomize the rows. That is to say, it will randomly map different feature value, different predictor value to a label. If this feature is unimportant, then who cares if it randomizes it? It will have no effect on the predictive accuracy. But if that feature is really important, if you randomize the rows, randomize the mapping between a predictor and its label for a particular sample, you will get a big decrease in accuracy. So the bigger the decrease in accuracy as you randomize this feature variable, the more important it is. That is the gist of MDA. You don't need to know too much about it, but that's the gist of it. There are other feature selection methods such as Lime and Sharp. They are you know, readily available, but, um, and they also perform slightly better than MDA uh, in some respects. However, we think that MDA is good enough if we were to apply this cluster-based method to it, which is what we, are, we have uh, written a paper on and which we will describe today, and which is already implemented in our platform, bdignow.ai. So, so uh, we will focus on MDA. Lime and Sharp are great, but in our opinion, after you apply cluster-based feature selection, MDA is as good, if not better, 